the Hausa people, who are mostly found in Nigeria and Niger in West Africa, the Hausa Fulani people are mainly found in the northern parts of Nigeria, especially in the northwest and northeast. Their mythology is a reflection of their rich cultural and spiritual history. This well-known Hausa mythology tells the story of Baghdadi Prince Abu, Yazid through the generations, as told by elders. Nestled between huge savannas and historic cities in the heart of West Africa is a place shrouded in myth and legend the tale of Bayajida. This complex fabric of myth and folklore has a man at its center whose name echo through the ages. Bayajida. One of the central figures in Hausa mythology, Bayajida is said to be a legendary hero and warrior who played a crucial role in the founding of the Hausa city-states. In the ancient land of Hausaland, where the golden sands kissed the horizon and the whispers of legends danced upon the winds. There lived a hero whose name would echo through the ages, Bayajida. Born a prince of Baghdad named Abu Yazid, heir to a kingdom veiled in opulence and intrigue, Bayajida's destiny beckoned him westward, into the untamed expanse of the Nigerian wilderness. Leaving behind the comforts of his birthplace, Bayajida embarked on a journey of discovery guided by the whispers of fate and the call of adventure. Across sun-scorched deserts and sprawling plains, he ventured, his spirit undaunted by the challenges that lay ahead. As he traversed the vast expanse of the Saharan dunes, Bayajida witnessed the ever-changing landscape of West Africa unfold before him. A tapestry of vibrant cultures, ancient traditions, and untold mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Through trials and tribulations, Bayajida pressed onward, his heart ablaze with the promise of new horizons and the allure of the unknown. And as the golden sun dipped beneath the horizon, casting its final rays upon the endless savanna, he knew that his destiny awaited him beyond the horizon, where the legends of Hazeland whispered their secrets to the wind. It was said that fate guided Abu Yazid's footsteps to the land of Dora, where destiny awaited him like a silent sentinel. As he ventured forth into the heart of Dora, the city lay shrouded in an eerie silence, as if the very air itself held its breath in anticipation of the impending battle. Yet, undeterred by the daunting challenge that lay ahead, Bayajida pressed on, his footsteps resounding like a drumbeat of defiance against the suffocating grip of fear. As the sun dipped low in the sky, casting long shadows over the dusty streets, the prince wandered through the city, searching for water to quench his thirst. His royal attire marked him as a stranger, drawing curious glances from the locals as he passed by. Desperation gnawed at the prince's throat, urging him to seek help from the residents of Dora. Finally, he came upon a group of old women gathered around a well, their weathered faces illuminated by the warm glow of the setting sun. Approaching them with humility, the prince pleaded for water to soothe his parched throat. The old women regarded him with kindness their eyes crinkling with wisdom as they listened to his plight. Forgive me, young prince, the old women spoke, her voice soft yet tinged with sadness. But the well you seek is not like any other. It is guarded by a serpent, a creature of great power and ancient lineage. The prince's brow furrowed in confusion. He had never encountered such a situation in all his travels. Is there no other well in Dora from which I may draw water? He inquired hope flickering within him. The women shook their heads solemnly. This well is the lifeblood of our city, another woman explained, and the serpent demands tribute in exchange for its use. Every Friday, the people of Dora must bring forth offerings of food to appease the creature, lest it withhold the water from us. Understanding dawned upon the prince as he listened to their words. He realized that he stood at the threshold of a great challenge, one that required not only bravery but also cunning. Determined to prove himself worthy of the water he sought, the prince resolved to confront the serpent. With the guidance of the old women, he prepared a feast fit for a king, an offering to appease the guardian of the well. As the first light of dawn painted the sky in hues of gold and pink, the prince made his way to the well, his heart pounding with anticipation. There, coiled around the stone rim, was the serpent, its eyes gleaming with a fierce intelligence. Bayajida approached the well, unaware of the lurking danger that awaited him. As he stooped to drink from its cool embrace, a sinister presence coiled itself around his senses, and with a hiss like a blade unsheathed, 
the serpent of darkness revealed itself in all its malevolent glory. With scales as black as the void and fangs as sharp as obsidian, the serpent's venomous gaze bore into Bayajida's soul, threatening to consume him with its suffocating darkness. But the hero, with a heart as resolute as the mountains and a spirit as unyielding as the raging tempest, stood his ground, his blade gleaming defiantly in the face of the encroaching shadows. A battle of titans ensued, the clash of steel against scale reverberating through the very fabric of existence. Each strike of Bayajida's blade carved a path through the darkness, his courage a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching despair. With every swing, he danced with death itself, his movements a symphony of defiance against the serpent's malevolent reign. And as the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded into the ether, Bayajida emerged victorious, his blade stained with the blood of his foe. The serpent of darkness lay vanquished at his feet, its grip on the city of Dora shattered like fragile glass. And thus, with the serpent's defeat, and as the sun rose triumphantly over the horizon, casting its golden light upon the city of Dora, the people emerged from their homes, their faces aglow with newfound hope and gratitude. In the aftermath of victory, Bayajida stood as a beacon of strength and honor, his name etched in the annals of legend, and as a token of their esteem, the Queen of Dora bestowed upon him her hand in marriage, sealing their union in the sacred bonds of love and destiny. Thus, Bayajida became not only the hero of Dora, but also the progenitor of a dynasty that would endure through the ages, a testament to the power of courage, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of the Hausa people. And as his tale echoed across the sands of time, it became a beacon of inspiration for generations to come, reminding all who heard it of the enduring power of the human spirit to conquer even the darkest of shadows and emerge victorious in the light of day. With the Serpent of Darkness vanquished and the city of Dora liberated from its malevolent grip, Bayajida's heroic deeds did not end with the slaying of the beast people started to call him Bayajida, which means he didn't understand their language. As fate would have it, his courage and valor captured the heart of the local queen, Magajia Dharama, whose admiration for the hero blossomed like a flower in the wake of his triumph. In the aftermath of battle, amidst the jubilant celebrations that swept through the streets like wildfire, Bayajida and Magajia Dharama were united in marriage their union a symbol of hope and renewal for the people of Dora. Together, they ruled with wisdom and compassion, their love a beacon of light in a world still scarred by the shadows of the past. From their union, a child was born, a son named Bawo, whose birth heralded a new era of prosperity for the city of Dora. Yet, fate had more in store for Bayajida, for his valorous deeds had not gone unnoticed by the gods. In a twist of fate befitting the legends of old, it is said that Bayajida also fathered another child, this time with the queen's maidservant, Karbagari. And so, amidst the triumphs and trials of life, Bayajida's tale continued to unfold, his name immortalized in the hearts of those who dared to dream of a world where courage triumphed over fear and love conquered all. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content like this. Your support helps me keep creating and sharing with you.